it is max mode already. That's maximum mode, okay. Yeah, yeah. That is for changing the riding mode, so if you go back up. Oh, I have a touch screen, look at that. Yeah, okay. So if you go down, let's make it full again. So you have the different riding modes here. And this is it's all in, Exactly, it's all in Chinese right now. It's so okay. you have different riding settings like acceleration, curve, etc. That's motor, back front motor, both, both engagement. motors. Exactly, Perfect. so you can um, change in terms of battery. And so tell me speed. the specs, uh, maximum speed, they advertise 37 miles an hour, right? So that's going to be 37 miles an hour, right? Yes. And range, what will get the range with this model? Well, the range, I mean, obviously, you know the answer. It really depends on... Um, how you ride this. But let's say an average, right? uh, somebody who's about 200 pounds, like what, 20 miles, 30 miles? So it's advertised with 43 miles per hour, uh, uh, 33 miles uh, range. And, and that's, then, that's which mode? That's always an echo mode, basically. Echo mode, okay. It's never, never in full so mode with no speed. So now get the 24 miles going fast, yeah. A little, fast, a little more than that. Probably 25, yeah, 25. Yeah, yeah. It depends. If you use brake less, you probably get more exactly. than that. Exactly. Yeah, if yeah, you yeah. use one motor, two motors. I mean, this one has big variety. It's very nice. It feels very soft, huh? Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's still, you know, it's not perfect because, you know, it's yeah. short time. But looks, uh, there are a lot of things which still need to be adjusted. The cool thing is you still can also fold it okay. if you want to put it in your trunk. And can you grab it here or? No, not, not yet. Not yet, okay, but you'll be able to... Oh, it's exactly. not bad. It's not bad, yeah. This one, maybe like 35, 40 pounds? Yeah. 35? Yeah. Perfect. And that's it. And this is going to be active also on the right, right? Uh, you can use it already. So here, oh, it's the indicators. Oh, indicators. Oh, wow. Right. The frame has blemishes and parts that are not super tight that you can hear rattle while I was riding. The 3D printed parts on the handlebars are not finalized, but this is expected from a prototype. Brands always rush to get the new models ready to be shown, but after riding this model on the floor for like 10 minutes, the frame felt stable, super cool looking, I like the design, a lot of travel here, good control. The power output was on the mild side and most likely not properly set up. I was able here to pass 41 km an hour inside, which is not really cool. There are people walking around and it's not safe and also there's not enough room to really accelerate. The rear suspension feels really nice. The front one is a bit stiffer, but I like the design and hopefully we we'll get some adjustments here. The team, I spoke with them, they mentioned that they're thinking to include a front handlebar somehow to integrate it so it looks cool. But I don't think it's needed, I can lift it easily and uh, you'll be rolling pretty much, you're not going to be lifting a lot, just in case if you want to fold it and store it in your car or in the back of your truck, which is a couple of seconds, not a big deal, I think. The touchscreen is a very nice option, very nice addition here, looks really cool, it's not finalized, but it's very legible, good colors, good design, good size. It is super nicely integrated in the frame and transitioned into the handlebars. Even the way it is, as a prototype, it feels powerful and very comfortable. The acceleration was on the mild side, which I was expecting. It was set up to be tried here on CES, but the frame looks super cool to me. I think they have a good design going on here, and I think there's a lot that can be done and customized here on this platform. I personally think it can be set up as a daily, regular, comfortable, decent power commuter, or maxed out for engaging fast off-road. I think it's a definitely a good frame, well put together, with a lot of potential. This model should be coming out in about 3-4 to four months and this team is set up to surprise us with several variations of this model and some cool settings. Yeah, I like it, that brakes, suspension is very soft, adjustable, intuitive, smooth, it's very good. I think the display is really nice too, when everything is ready. I mean, was for it... a prototype, it's a very nice, and I'm surprised actually this actually works. This is really cool. Yeah. For a prototype, yeah. usually people don't have anything working, but this is good. It's really good, and it looks appealing. It looks like it can go much faster than 37. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I don't know if there will be uh, different different models as well, but right now you have a two 1,000 watt motors, right? So they might increase it. It depends also on the next uh, generation, which we'll come up with. Yeah, it's, I like the design. I like it's not heavy. You can grab in the back. Actually, I was thinking. Finally, there's a handle on the back that can yeah. actually use it as a lever, you know? Well, you see there are a couple things. As you were just lifting, there would be something nice also for lifting in the front. Well, I usually do this. Where I usually grab a disc or maybe... Right, but yeah. look, you're the strong guy and you're already thinking where to grab it, right? So yeah, there, front, are, right. there are a couple things front. which we are considering right now. Yeah, in front it will be something, yeah. yeah. Actually, this looks so cool. It's like a off-road machine, you know? Yeah. 
Definitely. You have the kickstand. Oh, look at that. There you go. And also, how far for the ride? What did you think about the acceleration? I think it's soft. It's not aggressive, so it'll be very friendly for any user. Yeah. And I feel like you get the scooter in three, four months, you wanted to like have option to spice it up a little bit because the frame looks aggressive, looks like it's fast, you know? Right. And I hope you guys make it faster because it's always, you can put in the controller three modes for regular use and right. you can put the fourth one, like turbo or boost and just like right. speed it up, you yeah, know? It does have a It's good, but it, it doesn't push it. Like, well, guys, there's, there's no you can work on that. There's no difference between high and boost, basically, I think. Let's make but, a difference. But again, this isn't this isn't the final. Yeah, version. it's a prototype. That's it's always you know. Right. Yeah. So um, I like the design. Looks really cool. Uh, the only thing is, the nut brakes are cool, but like this lever it has to be thinner. It looks a little bit like okay. it, that doesn't belong here. I don't know why. Yeah. But, uh, um, if you notice, they're off center. Yeah. Um, see, my my personal concerns that I always have with it is just that there's not enough sensitivity on the throttle. I like to have a little bit more uh, gradation on it. Um, it's, it's, it's a prototype. Two. It's a prototype, yeah, but you guys can so tune I it up, they, yeah. I hope they dial that in. And um, I'm also worried about the trigger because if you're new and you're riding it, depending on if you panic, I don't like the fact that the brake and the acceleration well, Type that's the thing is this needs to be adjusted so it can be on the same level so it can be brought down right, right? Exactly. or you can bring this lower yeah, so this stays lower forward. but this I like this this is very comfortable yeah and actually a lot of people don't like to have a safety zone yeah. so I actually you complain about you know this I actually like it the way it is okay I like it so it depends on the rider okay. but, but again I'm more experienced rider somebody who's yeah, new probably I'm, we need I'm not gonna lie to you I'm just uh, e-bike uh, scooter um, and when I got things set up, I'm like, crap. After I finally figured it out, because I can't read Chinese. After yeah. I got it going, I was like, this is dangerous. Probably because I'm indoors. <laughs> yeah. I know that. Yeah, once you're outside, doors, wider open uh, road, it'll feel like, you know, yeah, more I safer. Here's more, more congested, yeah. Yeah, so, but, um, um, the second I saw this, uh, I'm not joking, because I only read about it. And it's sight on the scene, and I talked to our boss, Apple, and I literally said, me down for one yeah so it's, it I, looks I, pretty cool it just needs to be you know finished up and it'll be perfect so i talked to my boss at the office and i gave her the money i paid her for it all right <laughs> <laughs> oh awesome so no matter what i'm getting one so i'm really psyched about it um, yeah it looks pretty cool it, it looks pretty cool I, I don't like i hope they're not married to the name panther you like the name i hope they're not married to it i don't like it <laughs> i'd like something else well we'll see we have what six months till they come up or Is seven months out? no second quarter so okay so that's uh, pretty fast, three, two, three months. That's good, that's good, yeah. So awesome. I'd name it if it's, if it's not taken, I'd name like a predator or something like that, raptor. But they have to get more speed, they have to, you know, boost it up a little bit. Yeah, what I would love to see, um, a lot of manufacturers I'm finding here in the States, you know, there's some makers of bikes and scooters that um, really kind of break the laws, um, mm -hmm. things like that. But I would, I, but you have some like us who seem to lock things down because you're afraid you're entering the market. You don't want to upset or yeah, yeah. you want to follow regulations. It needs to be user friendly. Yeah, but and safety. Yes, there are always workarounds to regulations. Yeah. So it's like offer us an unlock mode. Give us like if we want it, even if you have to pay extra for it, you know, a special firmware update or something. Yeah, Just give us. A Unlock it. Yeah, will it kill the battery? Yeah, but it's okay. reasonable. You go that's faster, exactly, you consume yeah. more energy. That's yeah, that's the chance I take. So, yeah, um, absolutely love it though. Yeah, awesome. Okay, this thing rides really sweet. It's still prototype and full prototype. It works pretty well, and uh, it's not super fast, but comfortably fast. But looks like it can do much more than 37 to 8 miles an hour. It has like medium to like mild transition, so it's very yeah. comfortable acceleration. It's like more on the soft side, it's not aggressive. But I'm sure this motors and uh, a more powerful control can really turn this into a beast. It looks like it's meant for off-road. The design is very futuristic. And you can see here a big light. I'm trying to figure out how to turn it on. But the aesthetically or design-wise, this looks really cool. Not brakes. Good uh, kickstand that hides 
in the frame here has like a little pocket the suspension looks really beefed up and it's a dual suspension here in the back 